thrilled with some new pickups and wanted to share them here. This might be the rarest card I own. Brand new. This is a 1921-22 card from the UK, uh, believed to be from Bunsen Confectionery. And in the Deadman book, the Bible of Cricket cards. Um, at the time it was written, only five cards from the set had ever been seen and uh, was talking to a very well-known collector in Australia, Stephen Fleming, who said he was only aware of one other copy of this card he had ever seen. So adding to my Hobbs collection is always exciting, but that's one that I had never seen before. And when someone offered it up, I knew I had to uh, see if I could get my hands on it. So was thrilled to pick that up. Uh, another card I needed from my Hobbs collection, this one much more iconic and much more well-known, the Murray's Cigarettes. So uh, I have the Sydney Barnes from this set already, uh, but this is a very rare and sought-after card as well. Uh, the Barnes is actually the cover page of the Deadman book, which, by the way, I've got right here. So, you know, iconic card. Uh, glad to add that to my collection. Speaking of iconic, I'll let that speak for itself. I was very, very happy to grab this one. It's a very nice copy. So, um, yeah, I don't know what this would grade, but will probably eventually make its way over to PSA. Definitely not leaving my collection. That is my nicest Bradman rookie. So not every day you get to pick up three cards of that quality. Uh, this is another really nice one. I had a copy of this card, but not nearly in this nice of condition. That's the Giant Brand Licorice. Very hard to get this without, you know, bad edges and surface issues. So. You know, it's not perfect. It's got a little bit of corner wear, but definitely a good one. Uh, another one I didn't have in my collection, actually, and I managed to pick up two copies of this. This is the Hoadley's from 1932, I believe. Um, so I was glad to grab that. Might be 1934, actually. Got two copies of that. Another really rare card that I didn't even recognize when I saw the front. This is the Douglas. These were very, very um, rare, hard to find. You know I collect Hammond, so very happy to add him. One of the greatest batsmen and all-rounders in history. Really dominant. Another card uh, that I was very glad to add to my set. I did not have anything from this, this set. This is actually my oldest... Uh, South African issued card. So this is Ranji's nephew. Uh, Duleep Sinji had a great career himself, was one of the better batsmen of the day, and uh, was really happy to pick that one up. What a great back, isn't that just lovely? And uh, didn't have any cards from this set. I had seen a Dixie Dean soccer card from that set was being sold for 1,200 pounds or something, so um, was happy to pick up uh, a fine cricketer from that set. Another card I recently added to my collection, not a cricket card. This is one of the greatest surfing cards of all time, and I have the regular version, but this is the special gold. Only 500 of these produced. This was basically the chase card in the 1993 Fuchera surfing. So I don't collect a lot other than cricket, but I do love these early surfing cards and uh, Kelly Slater's definitely the best to collect. Um, one more Hobbs that I actually didn't have in my collection. So I was looking through and I'm like, oh, I think I've got a copy of that. So I've got that one and I've got actually two more copies of that one, but I didn't have this one. So this is the 19, you can see in the bottom right, the 1928 test match, test, test match Cricketers from Champion. And the other one I had was the 1926. So uh, similar looking, but uh, I now have the one where he's smiling, which is pretty cool. So, uh, and by the way, I've shown these off in other videos, but um, I've got my Hobbs collection 
here. So we'll be at, happy to add those and happy to add a few more to my Bradman collection here as well. So very fun there. A few more pickups. Uh, Dennis Compton rookie in really nice condition. This is from Allen's. Uh, I had a couple of these, but not in this nice of condition. So really happy to add that one. Pretty common Hobbs, but uh, always like to add those. And these were basically throw-ins with uh, with one of the deals, which I really appreciated. It's nice when people throw in a little extra. And then three Warnies from the 1993 Buttercup. Uh, I love these Buttercup sets, and I mean I like them even when they're scratched, but it's definitely better to get them unscratched. So these are really nice condition, and. Like I said, just nice to pick those up. They don't come up for sale very often. So that's it. What do you think? What was your favorite card here? Was it one of the Hobbs? Was it the Bradman rookie? Was it the Hoadleys? What do you think?